Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here, bringing another math video. This one from my uh, desk in my classroom, and um, using my iPad, so I apologize for the uh, voice quality, and it might be a little echoey because I'm in a big room. Um, so this one is on graphing y is equal to mx plus b. So this equation that I already have listed here is already in y is equal to mx plus b form. So um, Really, this is, you know, y is equal to mx plus b is one of the most useful forms for graphing purposes. And um, when you're doing it, really the most important thing is being able to identify the slope and the y-intercept. So I'll start with the y-intercept. My y-intercept is 1. It's the constant. This guy right here, it's b plus 1. And my slope is in front of my x, negative 2 over 3. Now, you have to be able to interpret what that slope means. So if you remember back, probably a few lessons ago, um, before your teacher did this lesson with you, your teacher probably told you that slope was rise over run. So that's absolutely true. So your rise represents up and down, and your run represents left to right. So the negative represents if it goes left or right. And, um, well, sorry, the negative represents down and left. Sorry, guys, the announcement just came on there, so I had to stop the recording for a second. So let me see. Your rise represents up and down, and your run represents left and right. Now, your rise can be positive or negative. A positive means up, a negative means down. Your run can be positive or negative. A positive means right, a negative means left, so that's great. So what this means, negative 2 means 2 down, and then 3 right. So that's what this guy means. <clears throat> so, first thing we need to do is plot my y-intercept on my graph. I got my y-intercept right there at y is equal to 1. So that's actually the point, 0, 1. So what I do now is I follow my instructions. From that point, I go 2 down. So here you go, 1, 2, and then 3 right. 1, 2, 3, and I end up at this point. So 2 down and 3 right. So that's actually what happens. I can't really show you because of my iPad. You can't see the cursor, but that's what I actually do. I'm going to erase that just because I don't want to mess up my graph. So now once you have those two points, you go ahead and connect them up with a line. So there's my line. I'm going to draw some arrows on the end of it. And there it is. There's my y is equal to mx plus b. So now I'll do the exact same thing just with a different line. So let's give this one a shot. So you also should take note, guys, if you have a negative slope, it's going down and to the left. So you see the shape of it, down to the left. All right, let's try this guy. So I have y is equal to negative 3x. Let's change that y-intercept. Let's not use the same one. Let's change it to negative, uh, negative 2. So subtract 2. So again, let's write it my y is equal to mx plus b to help us identify what the m and what the b is. So my m is negative 3, and my b is negative 2. So um, take note, subtract 2, same as negative 2 for this case. <clears throat> All right, so um, again, slope is rise over run. So you notice here that we don't have any overrun part. So what my students like to do is they actually like to write this over 1 to remind them that there's still a run, it just happens to be 1. So if you get your slope is just a number, that means your, your run is 1. <clears throat> Just one number, not a fraction, I should say. So this means 3 down and 1 right. So I'll start at my negative 2. So negative 2 is down all the way down here. And then I go 3 down. So 1, 2, 3, and then 1 right. So that maybe gives you the illustration. So I know where my point goes to now. So I'll just erase that. And then I'll fill it in. And now I'll connect up my lines. It's not a very good job. Let's see. That's a bit better. And there's my line. I'll draw my arrows on the end of it. Another thing I should have probably did in the last example was make sure I label this x and y. So guys, I hope this uh, helps you graph y is equal to mx plus b. I'm sure you'll need it somewhere along the way. And uh, good luck, and I'll see you guys in class.